everyone and welcome back to June's Family Life. This is a segment that I'm featuring when I come across any craziness in the world. And today I have some headlines from newspapers and I'm just going to mention it and I will insert photos so if you want to follow up you can. By the way, my name is June and this handsome guy right here is, <laughs> is Mike. Right, we, barbecuing we are barbecuing. There's our barbecue. Maybe I'll do it this way so you can see I'm barbecuing while we're at, we're doing it. There we go. You see the burgers and hot dogs? And the, I get the free papers. I get the 24. I'll put it over here. The 24 paper. And I also get the Metro. I should have had this stuff prepared. And the Metro. So this is where I get uh, my ideas. And this, the Metro, is the star um, um, from the star. And 24 hours is from the sun. And these are free and they're handed out to... So no one needs to buy the sun or the star anymore. <laughs> yes, it's just put into um, the papers. <laughs> I guess they're top stories. Now, the thing that outraged me, I have nothing against, uh, uh, what do you call, the royals or any celebrities. I don't care. You listen to whatever, read whatever you want to. But the point of the fact is, I'll put it over here. Look at this. It's royal snub. What? Are, they're not snubbing anybody. The fact is, is that uh, the paper is stating that... Uh, why are they going to Vancouver when they can come back to Ontario? They've already been in Ontario. Anyhow, that's number one. Number two is, why would you put this up, you know, as a headline when there's more interesting things in the news going on, more serious things? What do you think, Mike? <laughs> they like to put entertainment news on. I, I don't know. I don't know. Is it, I, make, uh, that's made up news. Really. Is it? It's waste. It's a waste. I looked yeah. at this and I says, "What is this nonsense?" It's. It's. I don't know. I'm just upset. I don't know if it's just me, but comment down below what your thoughts are because I want to get the ball rolling. Okay. What are what was I going to talk about in this one here? Well, let's let's leave this one article here. I'm going to leave it for. The end, basically, I guess. Yeah, I'll leave it for the end. That's a quite heavy header. So, Pokemon Go is a very popular game right now going on. Correct, Michael? Yeah, that's correct. And um, you play it? I, mean, I play it, like, very casually. I don't, I don't get crazy about it. <coughs> like some people do. Well, that one time you left me for shopping, and then you said, uh, "Call me when you're ready. I'm going to go and look for my yeah, Pokemon." Yeah, I was back before you were even going. <laughs> yeah, you were. He was. He just went up a little bit and walked around. Or whenever we go for evening walks, he'll walk around, and whatever he comes across, he comes across in our area. But yeah, I found two articles. Again, I'll be po putting inserting the articles so if you want to take a closer look at it. Um, this one here is video a dangerous stunt now. What happened um, here is there's a YouTuber, I'm not sure. I know I should have read this over again, but I didn't. Um, they're just doing a spoof of Pokemon Go and how you can get into a lot of trouble and stuff. They're walking into walls, walking into traffic, stuff like that. But they did a really dangerous stunt without the TTCs uh, in the subway without their permission, as you see there. He is walking down below in the tracks and the line of the tracks have electricity and he could have got shocked or whatever, got killed by an oncoming subway car. So this is why, I mean, they, I don't know, this is nuts. So that's what brought my attention. They're pretty mad too because they went ahead and they filmed this and the guy jumped down there and started pretending to be catching Pokemon in there. I don't know. But to me, that is ridiculous. Uh, I hope no diehards will go down the tracks or in, in the middle of the street and and try to catch those guys. There's a lot of rats down there, so I guess there's a lot of rattata, yeah. rattatas, but you don't go down on the tracks. Yeah, don't go on the tracks, because look, all these here, 
okay? Um, you touch those lines, you're, you're electrocuted. It's not worth it. Some people faint and they fall in there and they have to uh, stop the subway. They have, people try to pull them out. Um, a lot of things happen, but please don't do that. So that's just something weird. Okay, another thing here, another with Pokemon. Pokemon Punisher right here. This one here. Um, this lady, she was apparently on her balcony or her rooftop. And um, I'm not sure. Again, I should have I should have reread this, but she um, was BB shooting um, Pokemon players when they were looking for their Pokemon, and uh, yeah, she got in trouble. So just be on the lookout, be vigilant, beware when you're walking around trying to catch your Pokemon. See what's out there. Make sure no cars are coming or Check for snipers. Too. Snipers. There's like that lady in it. Yeah, because they're like I guess luring them. You said there were some people that were luring. See the thing is, they have if they have downloaded the application. Yeah. They can set a lure at a Pokestop, and now that you get these little cherry blossoms around the Pokestop, and that means that there's a lure going on. Okay. That will attract Pokemon to the to that stop, but it will also attract players to the spot. So. If someone wants to lure you to a spot to <coughs> mug you or something, they'll set a lure. So just be careful when you're going to poke stops. I wouldn't go in the middle of the night, you know. Those people. No, and go with a group of people so yeah. if something happens. Because there's been instances in the news where people have been mugged. They got stuff stolen and or they're beat up and all this. And yeah. I haven't yeah. researched it. I don't know what's true and what's not. But just be careful. Go with people, okay? All right, another weirdness in the news. This is the 24 hours, and I know this is old. By the time you guys re get this, it's going to be passed. But I still think that, that this information is still going to be out there. You know, this is from Wednesday, July 27, 2016. And if this is something weird. I say, say it isn't so. What is the world coming to? New superfood, cockroach milk. Cockroach milk. Can you believe that? I will put this article up so you can read it. So it says here, it's a natural protein crystal that doesn't taste much, but contains nature's most powerful energy packed protein. Punch could be your next go-to superfood. If only you can get over the fact that it's, well, cockroach milk. How many cockroaches does it take for a glass? I don't know. It's just a short little blurb in here. It's super expensive too, but um, scientists are taking a longer look at the milk crystals of the Pacific beetle cockroach. Unlike most cockroaches that lay eggs, this one gives live birth, and moms provide a food of liquid crystals packed with fat, sugars, and proteins to its brood. Scientists still need to test whether humans can digest it. And I was wondering how much cockroaches do they have to milk to get this stuff? I don't know. But really, would you try that? I wouldn't. To me, it reminds me of like those coffees that are like, they take the coffee bean, some animal eats the coffee bean and poops it out. And then they sell it for like 20 bucks an ounce or something. I, I think so, those yeah. Like those, those gourmet. Like those people, yeah. Yeah, I heard people. about that, yeah. Yeah. All right, next headline, again, this is from Thursday, July 28, 2016. I don't know when I'll be putting these out. I am so behind on my um, my YouTube uh, segments and such, so I hope to be getting it out soon. But I think this will pertain to anybody. Um, this one here, Flushable Wipes Controversy, right here. Um, I believe this is in Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver. Um, they're having a problem now with their wipes. So we're talking about facial wipes, wipes that you have in the bathroom, makeup wipes, whatever. Some of them say that they're flushable. Don't believe that. Just throw it in the trash. Because why would you 
want to destroy your own plumbing and it's going to cost a lot of money to get it fixed especially if you have your own septic systems and your own uh you're in your own house and your, and your own stuff why do you want to block up your lines never ever ever throw anything in the in the toilet unless it's just your bodily fluids that are going down there don't even throw down um any um sanitary products tampons pads whatever even though they say it goes down there no it will block it up because the pipes are very small so don't even risk it um yeah i've heard about this years ago when the wipes were just being you know introduced and uh they had a big problem downtown in toronto where it was sticking up in the sewers and they had to get it out they had people to go People had to go down in the sewers and slick, literally wash it off like with power wash to get all this, these, these thick um, wipes out. So whatever you do, please don't just don't, don't, don't flush it down. You, why do you want to risk it, right? To damage your own septic system and your pipes. It's going to cost money. Right, Mike? That's right. Yeah. So. Those flushable wipes aren't really flushable. They're not flushable. And a lot of the packages say flushable. They're not flushable. Even though if you flush it and you have no problems, it'll end up in your city sewer system and then it takes taxpayers' money to get it cleaned. And why do you want to risk that? So just throw it out in the trash, right? right? And wipes are amazing. They're good for everything. If they could clean a baby's bottom, they're good for you. They're good for, they have facial wipes and whatever. And they're good for like, uh, um, if you're doing crafting and you want to clean off your pad, your ink pad, I hear that's good if you want to clean off any stencils for nails. That's good. And it cleans anything. I, I We use it all the time. Okay. Now, another thing is uh, with the TTC. Now, this came out Thursday, July 28, 2016. Two articles here. Um, the last one, I'm going to go in more in depth. So... I don't know if you heard about this, Michael. It's called Java Jerk. Mm -hmm. And then this one here is the TTC safe. Let's deal with this one first. Now, the TTC in Toronto, uh, the drivers have been getting harassed for a long time now, since, since the beginning of, of T, T, TTC days. And this guy here, uh, I'm not going to get into it. You can read the article. Apparently, he was known by this TTC driver, and I don't know, they had a dispute in the past. He came aboard again, and he got mad. They had a fight, and um, he unscrewed his thermos full of hot coffee, and he threw it onto the bus driver. So, hopefully, by the time I put this up, the guy has been arrested. So, you know, just be on the lookout for any craziness on the buses. And now getting into this one here, is the TTC safe? Now, the subway system, the bus system, not just here in my province, it could be in the States or it could be in the other provinces that are in Canada. Um, this lady here was harassed uh, by um, a man. I'm not going to get into it. She was basically sitting down and the guy was a bit too close, too personal. And uh, she reacted and she told him, um, please remove your hand. It's not polite what you're doing. And uh, he didn't listen. She got up and she pressed the alert up on the wall. There's a strip you can do to call attention if there's, if you injure yourself while the subway is going. Um, yeah, but no one came to her aid. I don't know why it's a separate incident. When you press the strip, it's supposed to stop the train. It didn't stop. It didn't stop the train. No one came for 45 minutes. She's telling the guy, stop it. Other people are on the subway. Uh, she made enough noise. He left. I don't know. I didn't get into the full thing again, but. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the point is, doesn't matter. Man, woman, child. It doesn't matter if someone is harassing you on the bus, the subway, who knows where. You have a voice. Don't be afraid. You speak up. Draw attention. Maybe some of you might not believe in what I'm saying, but I'm a type of person, if someone is touching me or in my space, I say, hey, hey, stop. 
and then everybody will in that area look and say well, what's going on because you know people are curious so what you could do is do that get off the bus or get off the subway and uh yeah and tell them not to because no one has a right to harass you touch you whatever and uh i know the buses and subways can get crowded so report it if you're on the bus get up go to the front where the driver is you know and tell them hey this guy here is bothering me i don't know what he would do He'd probably stop the bus and close the bus and then call the police right so do that for your safety move up to where the actual bus driver is and there are areas when you're waiting for the subway there are designated zones you can wait or you can ride up in the cab where the front of the subway is and the subway a driver is there but yeah there's nothing wrong if you feel uncomfortable draw attention you know it's for your safety you don't know what these people are up to they, they probably have harassed a lot of other people not just women not just men you know kids too so speak up maybe it'll stop them i don't know i don't know i'm just saying it's the best place to ride in the middle with the car against the guy that opens, yes closes it's doors. true it's true as well by himself. That's like, true. I forgot. Yeah, I haven't wrote this. Wherever the guard is, is, is also where the cameras are on the platform. Yes. The cameras are looking at the platform at that same area where you get on and off that car. Yeah. So it's probably as well. So, yeah, no one has a right to touch you and whatnot. So draw attention. Get up if you're uncomfortable. Let someone know. And there's always cameras going on, right? So. That's my two cents, and um, I like to hear what you have to say. I'm sure some of you agree, don't agree. Let's start a conversation. Let's get the ball rolling. And yeah, it's dinner time now. Yeah, so I'm gonna sign off here. And that's another successful episode of Say It Isn't So with June. Anyways, bye for now, everyone, and have a blessed day.